Two families in Laval have been utterly shattered after yesterday's deadly bus crash into a daycare centre. A 51-year-old transit worker is facing two charges of first-degree murder, his actions taking the lives of two young children. Braden Jagger Haynes joins us now from Laval. Good afternoon, Braden. Uh, we see the crowd behind you and also understand Premier, the Premier and other officials will be at the scene of this tragedy as, you know, we all mourn alongside these families. What else can you tell us? Hi, good afternoon, Candice. Yes, the Premier Francois Legault just arrived moments ago. He's actually right beside us here, about a couple of arms reach. He's speaking with members of the family that actually might have lost loved ones. Not to confirm at the moment, but this is a long, heartfelt discussion that has not moved for some time now. He's been stopped. He's also been joined, however, in a sign of solidarity by other members and politicians, not only from the federal government, but also the provincial government, all parties here on site, in a sign of solidarity, mourning with the families as we see the party start to move now they're heading to the site that is behind us it's about 100 meters or so that's where the site of the daycare here in Laval was where the bus slammed into the front of the building killing those two children as well as injuring six others as an update when it comes to the six other children they are out of harm's way but when it comes to mourning this is somewhat of a site of tragedy, and that is something that we are seeing here today. Many people grieving here, coming in large droves of people, families, parents, with children in hand, all on site. Many of them, I spoke to them, they say that they're having difficulty explaining this to their children. This morning, some parents even saying that they've had a difficulty dropping their children off at daycare themselves or at school, as this is something still so fresh for the community. And one thing is for sure, many questions remain. Questions in terms of a motive behind the driver's intent on why this all happened, still unknown by police. Police saying that right now they have no firm connection between the driver, the 51-year-old Pierre Ni saint amand and the daycare. They say that there's no connection at the moment. As for the driver himself, a 51-year-old STL driver, the municipality of the bus, drove for 10 years now. And they say that he is also one that was described by neighbors as friendly, patient, as well as calm. But that was not what we saw yesterday in terms of a scene that was described by witnesses as a historical, a hysterical man, one that was in a crazy state, as one woman put it. And that is something that we are hearing in terms of this investigation that is still ongoing. We spoke to some political officials as well as former police officers in terms of what this will look like. Take a listen to what they had to say. The scene as it is. You, there's a lot of information you get from the scene. There's the witnesses that are going to give also their recollection of the events. And then we've got to try to get establish a profile of the person. These are all questions that remain unanswered at the moment as this investigation is ongoing by police. As for the 51-year-old driver, he's expected to appear in court February 17th as his next appearance. For the moment here, we're expecting to see Legault drop flowers and pay his remarks to the families and others as this is a site of mourning now as many people start grieving as the shock has passed.